of you. I'm a mom Thank of an 18 year old as well. And I'm just, you're 17, but I'm just yes. saying, I'm so proud of you. What a cool Thank thing. You. Tell everybody what happened. I cheer for Rockwell High School, and we have an annual homecoming parade. And so we were on the homecoming parade, and we were about, I want to say, 300 yards away from the final destination, which is the, which is the Utley Stadium. And we share a football float with the football players, so we are the very last float. And the football players are yelling at me, tire, tire, some kids choking. And I'm looking in front of me, but of course there are 100 plus people in front of me. So it's very difficult to spot the little boy out. And so we keep traveling for about 20 more yards. And I see a mom holding up her little boy in the air. And she was screaming, help, help, my son's choking. And his face super red, oh. he's turning purple. It's very obvious that he can't breathe. Mm -hmm. And so I immediately jump off the float and I run down to him. I grab him from the mom and I say, hey, I got it. And I I grabbed him, I tilted him downward, I gave him... You grabbed, you a 17 year old grabbed the baby from the moment and said, I got this. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay, yes. keep going. Yes. And, um, I grabbed him from the mom, I tilted him downward and I gave him three good back blows and he ended up spitting up everything he had. Yeah. And wow. I stood him up, I made sure he was okay, I made sure he was breathing and then at this point the paramedic came over and was like, hey, you look good? And you're shaking his breathing, his eyesight. And then I fixed his hair, asked him, you okay? He's super freaked out, he was crying, but... Yeah, I bet it freaked him out. Yeah, it freaked him out, but basically I made sure he was good and I ran, I jumped back on the float and the parade continued. <laughs> do this again like it's just like a David ends and why for you that's cool okay yeah. um, you Philip you have a scary story about right a uh, moment like this my daughter when she was a little bit younger she uh, swallowed a quarter one time and we didn't know it oh my and uh, my wife who was a, my superhero she didn't hesitate and reached in with her finger and got it but she, uh, Karen I was watching and yeah. it, I, I can totally relate to the mama of this child because mm -hmm. You freeze when it's your child. Right. If it, I was watching Philip and I was like, okay, I gotta remember, I know CPR, I know the Heimlich, I'm gonna step in in a second. But Mama Bear Becky, she had a long fingernail <laughs> and she went, she, and I, I don't know Dug that you're out. supposed to do this, but she did it because she was just like, I'm getting that quarter out of my baby's mouth. <laughs> and she flicked that thing and it went flying out and we were all like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Philip was running around like, Crazy, yeah. was crying, running. crying. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> but I mean, acceptable. That's acceptable. Acceptable, it's fine. Admitted. Grown men cry. Yeah. Um, how did you know what to do? Okay. You're 17. I just yes. wanted to remind you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so my mom, she runs a group home. She's a foster parent, and oh, so it's awesome. yes, it is required that I'm CPR certified. And when I was in eighth grade, I had a friend of mine choke on a granola bar, and I had no idea what to do. And that was really frightening for me. So from that point on, I knew that I would not want to be in that position again. And so I told my mom that day, and from that day, she taught me the Heimlich maneuver, the back blows, and whatever you needed to know, just in case a situation came up like that. And ever since then, great I've been mama. educated. Yes, I do. Yes, praise your mama, wow. What was it like at school the next day? Exciting. As soon as I walked through the doors at school, a woman that I didn't even know congratulated me and thanked me, and I was like, oh my gosh. And she, she thanked me and was like, you did an amazing thing. And then. All throughout school, I mean, people were coming up to me all day. How was it? You're the town hero. Like, you did an amazing thing. And of course, all the titles were great, but to know that the little boy is okay, which is probably the most rewarding. Yeah, I love you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you're like every mom's dream kid. <laughs> so you talked to the mom at, afterwards, right? Yes, we yeah. reunited with them, and that was really great because from, of course, during the incident, I didn't get a chance to talk to the mom or the little boy. So when I reunited with her, it was really great. She thanked me and I talked to the little boy. He's super sweet, super fun. He's an amazing little boy. Aww. And that was really great for me. It's a really cool thing you did. So you graduate soon. Right? I do. What are you wanting to do? Are you want to be a doctor? I, I should say you should be a doctor at this point. <laughs> yes, I want to attend a university in Hawaii and then go through that and go straight to medical school and then. You do. You want to be? Yeah, you want yes. to be. Yes, and yes, cool. and throughout that journey, I want to end up being a pediatric surgeon. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna ask your mom for parenting tips. I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, and I can talk a lot. Seriously, not gonna stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.